I've been in the sound healing field as an expert in that field since the late 80s. And I developed this uh, sound therapy, sacred geometry sound therapy environment there in the middle there called a Dreamweaver. Now, during that time of that development and, 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 and developing training programs for people, we did a lot of experimentation with sound. And so I developed new models, and I talk about them in the Wellness Manifesto, um, develop new models as to how sound is being affected onto the body. And in this case, on, <laughs> I can't do it, I can't point to it, but on the, on the blue bed there, that ripples with the sound, so you're getting a vibroacoustic or cymatic sound print into the body. Now, why I'm telling you this is because all the different wavelengths in sound affect different parts of the body, simply because they resonate, the higher frequencies resonate with the smaller tissues and the longer frequencies resonate with the bigger bones, say, right? So, when you start to look at um, sound healing. Sound healing is one of the ways that you can activate the vagus nerve, and we'll look at that later. But I have this expertise in that and an understanding of watching people doing shamanic experiences, helping them move through um, abuse situations, helping them um, propel them through, um, visualizing into different um, things that they would, they desire to do and ways of approaching it. It was an amazing tool for that. The sacred geometry about, part of, about it is because it resonates to specific numbers and, and geometries. We're going to look at that.